away, it will be a change that will resound across the rest of the, the rest of the numbers. So I think that's the best way to do it. So I'm going to do that all the way down. Then I can copy this one down. So I could say, let's copy this one down. And that's easy to do. I'm not going to put it on net income here because I'll redo net income. I can copy this formula and put it here. So it's just summing up. I'm just summing up that column. And then this one's just equal in the one prior. So I can just copy that down, boom, not to the total. And then I could do that all the way across. I could select all of these and I could just copy them down. And so there we have it. And then I can copy this across. This is my total and that's my baseline. That's how easy it is to make kind of the baseline. Again, you could use different methods to do this. This is basically averaging what happened last year as my starting point. Now, if you have a seasonal business, it, you might choose some other method because then you have some months that might be uh, typically higher than other months. Uh, if you have a business last year where you're, dis where you're growing and you think December is more representative of what's gonna happen going forward, you might start with the December numbers to populate everything, right, as your baseline and then move from there. Okay, but so we're gonna, but we're gonna take the average. I took the total, which only two months here. If it was a year, I would take the whole year's totals divided by 12 as my baseline number and then make my adjustments from there. So now let's start making adjustments. So let's, I'm gonna highlight the ones I'm making adjustments on. Let's make this one like green. So I'll say, let's make adjustments starting here just so I can see where, what I'm working on. And so here I'm gonna say, let's keep January the same, but then, say that it's going to go up in February. Now, now we're going to say we think there's going to be constant growth happening. So this is the, the optimists in there, right? The, 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 the sales lady that we got in the advertiser that we brought in from from Bud Light is, is saying, dude, the advertising we did is going to cost. It's going to, we've, we've helped you out here. We're going to we're going to advertise for the equipment rental and it's going to increase your revenue by let's what let's do a percent like by five percent per month all right so we're gonna say okay okay uh you're you seem advertisers know what they're doing so let me see if what would that look like so if i took 1130 times 0 0.05 or five percent that would be an increase of 56.50 uh per month right and then if i took that plus the 1130 that would be meaning month two would be at one one uh eight six fifty right and and i could shortcut that by saying i'm just going to take the one one three oh times 100 percent plus uh five per, did i say five percent five percent we'll say that would be 1.05 i hope i i might have did 50 i said five i think so that would be the one one eight six right so I can easily make a formula if we're going to make a nice smooth increase. I can say, all right, you think it's going to increase 5%. I'm just the bookkeeper here. I'm not, uh, your advertising scheme looks a little uh, dubious to me, but what do I, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> the bookkeeper, right? So yeah, you're going to say it's going to increase by 1.05. All right. So then, and then we can say that copied all the way across and then we could, we could put our cursor here and then copy this formula across. So if I copy this across, now each cell is picking up the one before it and multiplying it times 1.05. So we have a constant increase based on the prior number of 1.05. Now QuickBooks, I mean, Excel is trying to give me this little error message saying that the formula is not uniform here. And so we could go into each of these and say, like I could select all of these Sometimes that's a helpful formula, but I'm going to hit the drop down and say, uh, ignore error, right? And then it gets rid of those little triangles if those bother you, because they do bother me. It's kind of annoying. So then we'll say total, but maybe you're less botherable than I am. I'm either, I'm easily botherable. So we'll go to the home tab, format paint and make it the total. Let's make a total over here equals the sum of each of these for the 12 months. Boom. And then we'll copy that down, bam, not to the to not to the net income right there. And then we'll sum up this way. So it sums up. So now we can see the total. All right. So that means that according to this marketing person, 
uh, we're going to get, it's going to go up to 17,986 if we do, if we do the advertising recommended. Not only that, but she says that the product sales will increase because people will be like so into it. We'll have all these new people with these really colorful uh, new guitars that we've made. These gaudy colored <laughs> guitars. <laughs> they're gonna sell. They're gonna sell like hotcakes. So that that means this one's gonna go up by the same kind of thing. We're gonna say this one's going up by 10%. We're like, I don't know those, I wouldn't buy that guitar that looks like that. But if you say so, if we're going to say it goes up by 110%, we're just the accountant. So if that's what you tell me that's going to happen, I can calculate it if that's what you, if that's the plan. So we plan on these going up uh, to here, right? It's, it's not my, it's not my place to say that you sound you, kind of crazy right now, but here we go. Not only that, they say that this marketing on the service income, because they're going to be really happy with their super colorful guitars that we've advertised for them, that they're going to want to come in to take guitar lessons because they're going to think that your guitar teachers are super cool with the, due to the advertising that when we made them look so appealing with the advertising because their hair was like 10 different colors at one time every strand of hair was a different color and so and that uh is helpful apparently so we're going to say that this is going to go up by one thousand dollars each time so this is the other kind of format that you can do a pretty easy progression so instead of it going up by a, a rate we're going to say it's going to go up by a constant amount a thousand dollars each time so this is the other way we can kind of do a pretty easy increase so we'll say a thousand and then i'm going to copy that across so it's just going to repeat a thousand dollars each time. It's like, all right, we're going to, I don't know where you're coming up with the, you know, people are going to pay us a thousand dollars more each time, but uh, if that's what you say. We'll put it into the, we'll put it into the budget here. Okay. So then based on that information that we have, I can look at the cost of goods sold. Now, most of the expenses, by the way, will, will be pretty easy because the, the expenses might be somewhat repetitive. So even if the sales go up, my utility bill will probably remain somewhat